Okay, thank you very much for joining me again. This is Gulpain, uh, back with another quick video response. And uh, this is a video response to Metropolis. Hey, Metropolis. <laughs> Um, but I think he done it as a VR to someone else. I think it was Intergross or something like that. So uh, it took me a while, but I finally got around to recording it. So it's five games that you haven't finished yet. And I've picked a few from the um, that have kind of started and I have, I've gone back to, but I just haven't um, completely, completely finished them yet. So the first one is uh, the most recent one I've gotten is uh, Days Gone. So if you've played Days Gone, you'll know that it's extremely long. Uh, the story is very, very long. But once I've actually completed the story, and I've seen like the secret ending, uh, spoiler alert, with um, when you go talk to O'Brien and he takes off the mask, I've seen that one. Um, and I've got the rings for Sarah and all that. But uh, there's a lot of things I need to do. I need to go around and collect all of the, um, well, I need to defeat all the hordes. And I need to collect uh, the Nero recorders and stuff like that. So there's the kind of little things I need to do. And I also need to do, um, to do all like the challenge missions and all that as well. So that's, you know, I don't think I'm anywhere near to learn this game, but I don't know. Uh, the next one is, I should probably go in order, <laughs> chronological order, I'll try to do this. Uh, the next one is uh, God Wars Future Past for the old Vita. Uh, this one is a, it's a really good game. Um, if you've never played it, it's basically uh, a strategy RPG and you have different characters and you just move them around on a board, attack the enemy characters. Very, very traditional uh, strategy RPG, very enjoyable as well. And the next one uh, that I need to finish, I've got, I think I've got a bit of the way into it, but I, I don't know, I just, the handheld ones, I kind of leave the handheld there and I forget about it for a few months. Uh, the next one is Moonlighter for Switch. This one was, I was surprised how good this was because it looks like a very simple game, but it's actually very, very good. Uh, what you do is you go around in a little dungeon and you collect weapons and you collect different stuff. And you bring it back to your shop and you sell them or else you make um, different weapons and all that. Very, very good. Uh, next up is this one is an excellent uh, turn-based RPG as well as Trails in the Sky. Um, again, it's a just it's a turn-based RPG. It's very very simple. Um, although you do move the characters around on the board, uh, they don't just stay stationary. You have to move them, but you don't really need to move them. You can just I, I never move them. Um, but yeah, a really good story. There's apparently there's a few in the series of that as well, but um, they didn't come out in um, Europe or North America. They only come out in Japan, so they're I think so anyway, they're like Japan only, so they're, they're, they're not in English, so you can't play them. Very, very difficult. And then the last game that I've yet to complete, I'm almost kind of at the end of it, I just kind of haven't got around to it. I think it's like two years since I played this, but it's uh, Parasite Eve 2. So um, this is an excellent game. It's a survival horror game, and it's a kind of RPG aspects. It's more of a shooter than the first one. The first one is a very much kind of RPG uh, kind of game. Uh, so that's my uh, five games that I have yet to complete. Uh, thanks very much for asking for the video response and thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.